All right, here we are in uh, Nulato, but before that, uh, we found our way back in Galena earlier today. By process of elimination, has to be, has to be, at some point it's going to be your day. Guess what, folks, today was Matthew Failer's day. No, it's my birthday today. <laughs> it's a special day on the Iditarod, it's my birthday. This is now Iditarod number six for the veteran musher. Six birthdays on the Iditarod with my best friends. But out here, you miss some of the normal comforts. Like presents. The northern lights and all that. 50 below, those are good presents. Racing partner Michael Baker is taking a team form too. Not your birthday, but he's having a great first I did a rod. But when you're focused on the dogs, time and day can get away from uh, I actually was going to wait and pretend that I forgot. You know? <laughs> no, um, I've mentioned happy birthday. Thank you. Right yeah, happy thank birthday. you. <laughs> this is like the Red Green Show, man. This is terrible. <laughs> And out here, somebody has to sing you the song. Just making up new rhymes. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm not going to do it now. By yourself on the trail, you did this? I speak to myself all the time okay. on the trail. Yeah. <laughs> it's totally normal. I was singing it to the dogs, too, but they didn't sing it back. Ah, but all is not lost. Picking up booties that strike off the dogs, you know. Gifts from an unlikely source. So I just got $20 in booties that I can use for next year's training. And look, this, someone did remember, is a smoothie. Fellow musher Cody Straith and his wife. Happy birthday. You know, I don't even know what kind it was. It's just a bunch of vegetables all mixed together. It looks like baby food, but it's delicious. Delicious and nutritious. All in all, a good day. I couldn't put a candle in it. Matthew Failer is out on the trail. Team's running well. And happy birthday, homie. And it's his birthday. Happy birthday, homeboy. Happy birthday. You know that one. <laughs>